Okay, uh, in the last video, we determined this relationship here, and now we want to see what practical value we can get from it. And we left off in the previous video saying, we're going to use this information to take the Laplace transform of this function here. 15 divided by s squared plus 4s plus 13. And you might be able to tempted to think, well, perhaps this would be a candidate for partial fractions, but you really can't factor it out further than that. Um, the way to handle these is, we have these polynomial type expressions in the denominator, is to see if we can rewrite it by using the complete the squares type technique. So what we do is we take s plus one half of this coefficient, which is 2, and we square that. And that gives us s squared plus 4s, and 2 squared is 4. Well, if we added 9 to this, then that would give us this. So we can rewrite this. That's inverse Laplace transform of 15 divided by s plus 2 quantity squared plus 9. So now we have it in this form, and let's just make some room here. Now notice that on your table of transforms, the inverse Laplace transform of k divided by s squared plus k squared That's the sign of k times x. And in the numerator, that has to be the square root of what I'm adding to the s squared, which is 9. So you can write this as 5 times 3. So we can rewrite our inverse Laplace transform. For a moment, we'll just say, we just keep it like this. Inverse Laplace transform of 5 times 3 over s plus 2 quantity squared plus 9. So that's the entity there that we want to take the inverse Laplace transform of. Okay. Uh, now, look at the top part of the board, and you see the inverse Laplace transform of some function of s minus k. And that's what we have here. If it was for the sine of x, we would have 3 over s squared plus 9. We have s plus 2. So we have an s minus k form k just happens to equal minus 2 in this case. So, using our relationship here, we can say, well, this would be equal to e, that this is minus k, this is plus k, that this is plus, and this is minus 2 up here, times the inverse the plus transform, that stays the same, 5 over 3 of just f of s, which is s squared plus 9. So let's look at this again and make certain that we uh, realize what we're doing here. Here we have some function f of s. Here we have some function f of s minus k. s plus 2 squared that's in s minus k form, k just happens to be minus 2. So if we get rid of that, so to speak, by using this relationship, then we have e to the minus 2x. These k's 
our opposite sign here. Then it's just f of s, and it's whatever that function is with the k part gone. In other words, in this case, it would be with the 2 gone, so it would just be s squared plus 9 times 5. Now, the inverse Laplace transform of any function f of x is being multiplied by a constant. Now, let's just write this a little bit bigger. Inverse Laplace transform of a constant times a function is just the constant times inverse of the Laplace transform. And this is not f of x, though. This would be f of s. So let's get our symbol straight. Okay, we're taking the inverse of the Laplace transform of a constant times some function. And that's the same as the constant just times the inverse of the Laplace transform of that function. So you need 5 for the outside here. So this is going to equal, take the 5 out, we'll have 5 times e to the minus 2x times the inverse of the Laplace transform of 3 over s squared plus 9. And hopefully you recognize what that is then. That's the sign of 3x. So this is 5 e to the minus 2x times the sign of 3x. So when we start up here, inverse the plus transform 15 divided by s squared plus 4s plus 13 that equals 5 times e to the minus 2x times the sine of 3x. And again the way we were able to determine that was utilizing this relationship here that we had derived in the last video. So this is a very important relationship to remember. So let's get some more practice with it. I don't think we'll kind of this video, but come back and join us in the next video and we'll try to solve another inverse to transform where we have to use this relationship.